All right, I think game seven is time for the last one of the conference semifinals. We're waiting too long here for the Florida Panthers to stay to stay hydrated and ready for the winning team to head on to the conference finals here for the Eastern Conference. But the Western Conference finals was already been already been revealed as the Colorado Avs play against the Flames at Ball Arena. This is where we start here for game one and two. And then game three and four will be at Scotia Bank Saddledome for their coverage of the game to get right into work. But what about this one? Well, we are, we are unsure what's happening here, but it looks like the Panthers will be starting home first in game one and two. But we will see what happens in between the New York Rangers and Carolina Hurricanes. So far now, the set series is tied. It's already coming down to the wire. Well, who will it be? Can the Rangers take out the number one C team of the Carolina Hurricanes? Or will the Hurricanes sweep out the New York Rangers and move on to the conference finals? Stick around there later after the third period in between the games because that will be underway here to show how it's done. So it's time to step into the arena to start the presentation of Game 7, win to get in to the conference finals. Now let's head you over to Meepone along with OJ to start their presentation. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy. This is the Metropolitan Showdown in Game 7. A win to get into the conference finals. I'm Meepone along with OJ. This is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. The spot is about to be set here and we're ready to face things on here for the last game in the conference semifinals. It's time to see who will get into the conference finals. The Lions are being set here as they're all peeled up and underway. Here's Lafaniere, he kicks off to Kreider. Kreider made a releasement here and was here for the backhand shot. But sometimes he was not able to do things well like he did here before. It's a tough one to try to make them clear, but how does it take here for, for the other, other players to get back into it, guys? Well, my time was really the difficult, uh, the ranging in position in between the two of them really had to come up here for one at a time. All I have to say is that Kreider and the other teams got a great hustle in the back. They really have something else to try to share with their spirits. They like to do things on their own, they want to get back into it. Anderson makes a save here, and this one will stop the play with under a minute here on ice time. In between the twos, we stand by with Paintbrush. And Slavin has it all down with the lockdown in position. He has a lot of his um, enthusiasts here in the place of this game. He can try to tackle it down and try to lock the defenders here on offense to try to make their way through. Ryan Strom is delivering things with Adam Fox here in Take the Tape Zone ability. He can find the open band players to get right into work and then also be right in the uh, lookout range to try to help the players by get the open pass and shoot their targets up their own. I'll be watching those two players to get right into this one. We'll see who will get it in. Scores! Jarvis takes the first goal. It's a one nothing lead. That rebound was a little, a little tough to make that one that play, but the decision was already gotten made. It was a goal, so it was an early lead here for the first period. Carolina with one nothing. Here's, here's a shot. Jacob Truba, not enough to gain momentum here, and they took it deep on a shot. Carolina moving into the middle. Slap shots. That stopped by Shusterkin. And Aaron on the other way in a moving hand. He takes his sight, shoots one in the net, and then goes stopped by Anderson. In between the signups, this puck is about to be ready to face off with the drop pop. Carolina wins and goes back to work on offense. Now it goes over to the Terravinen. Sets a cop on a win. Entry into the zone. Shoots one. That's stopped by Shusterkin. Gauthier moving into the attack. Looking for some, some room. Two on one. And he went back fired. And this one will change him up a bit. And try it again. 
He's really not happy with that one. This all needs to give him a good credit credit to try to hit their run. It really didn't work for him, and that was very too hard to try to like stop and slow down the pressure. It's too much for him to keep an eyes on. Truro fires the puck here over to Hill. Now swings over to Jones, moves over to Truba. Fires one! That's us off and no rebound here for Sir Hedo. Sets a cob, racing inside the center. Goes in front. Truba with the with the takeaway. Lafaniere moving in. Swings across and stopped by Anderson. Now it's Garskichi up to Sesakov. A zone puck and puck poke check here by Jones. Made a great stop. He's really good so far. Now he's ready to like pick it up the pace a little more and get right into it. Kreider shot blocked in the backhand. And that one wouldn't work for him. It's too hard. Now he needs to find something else out there to get right into work. He's got to like pick it up. Darvine entering the uh, wing. Goes in the center. That's stopped by Sisterkin. And it's bad up by Trocek, and we got a power play coming in. That will be a tripping call here on New York. Chris Carter in the penalty box here, and this will be a power play to start in game seven. The tough and balance this was really tough to get right in through it. These players are very really high and a mess. They really do not like their team here, but the first seed to try to like mess them around with, because of that one, they need someone to help to try to like cover the puck here right away. Beats the icing for Rooney. Lindgren pass back to Lou Rooney. Fox will hang it off to Goodrow. Backhand shot holds it up for Anderson, and he gets a glove save with the catch. Both players are set on ice. Carolina is in the lead, 1-0 in the first period. Now we have a face-off win. Lemgren up, that's stopped by Anderson. Good row back to Fox. Moves over to Lindgren, back to Fox. Take away by Nijreder. Nijreder. Picking up at the poke check, Lindgren fires the puck. One minute left to play it for Carolina power play. They got a great zone ability. They love to stick up with their ice, ice time. It looks like they really got to like paint things off here and try to hit their attack run on number one. Kutami in there. Big hit! And he lost the stick for a moment and try to help him regain control. It's too much now because they need some help. The Hurricanes back into the offensive zone. 15 seconds to play in a power play. Kutami shot. Saved up by Sestuki. Panarin back the other way. Time's almost up. Rooney fires across, and the power play for the Canes is over. Now the man is back in even strength. Lindgren back to Fox. In zone, boom! He went down hard. Oh boy, Fox is no good. He's having a hard time to get back up. Fox delivers. Shot blocked by D'Angelo. Kreider up in the up in the back. Back to Panarin. He takes one, makes it snappy, doesn't make that shot good enough to get his timing. Kreider tries again. Hot back. Back to Kreider. Shoots. Saved by Anderson. This one is a bad pass here. Putting it up the moment here for Carolina. But now they need something else to find a man opener to go right back where they come from. Really need something else to try to like keep the pressure in there and then go back where they go again. Kreider moving in, shoots once, and he scores! It's now tied up as Kreider, Kreider gets his first goal in Game 7. But the great rush in between, Chris Kreider got a good timing out there. His most of player was convenient on him as Miller was making a great pass. The Rangers and the Hurricanes are in the tight battle range and they're all even up. The next goal could be in between the two because this is the toughest game and they're in the showdown rally in Game 7. Here's the Angelo and he gets it in! Scores! That's his first goal in the playoffs and it's now picking back up in the lead. 
D'Angelo has his first goal here in Game 7. Now, none of the goals was, was existed here for the other ones as well. And now they're back in the lead. Truda up with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender and he deflects it away. D'Angelo up to Trocha, up to Jarvis. Jarvis flies the puck in the cross. Now flings over to Goff here. Goff here races through the entrance of the attack. Up to Truba, back in shot. That saves off the cap had by Anderson. Goff here, out of control. Saving right back into the other row. Truba fires off the punt. Scans in the neutral zone, back to offensive zone. Finds Miller, one time shot is not enough for, for Miller to pick it up. As the last game, he had a goal here in a sixth game against the current Kings. This time was great. The tough ones in bounding were down there and he really had it all. But sometimes it's not good enough to get right by him. Miller was seemed to be okay. I think he might need to go a little bit more to try to stop one. Offside is the call by New York, and it will got to stop it when are passing the mid-period. The two players of this one defenseman has already been changed up a bit. Now Hurricanes are back in transition. In the attack, here's Turvinen. Up to Abo. Shoots and stopped by Shusterkin. Shusterkin really got a great uh, handle with the puck. Sometimes he's losing out of control. He has to find someone else out there to try to go with the open pass. It's very hard, it's very dejected, and he needs something else to try to like keep the range of motion. And a shot, and save! Oh, he went back in, right in front of it by the line, and Zabanachad could have got a goal. Top one's inbound already, Anderson just showed up. Back again is D'Angelo. That stick lifted by Stroh. Jones over to Snyder. Reaches in now. That's a kick away by the goaltender. Jones backhand. Stays out of trouble. And another save by Anderson. Anderson got it all again. Good and bound. Really got a great stop. But not a great opportunity to look here. They try to hold on to the puck. Stroh back the other way. Back moves over to Snyder. Up to Van Aaron. Van Aaron gets swift out. Sets a cob into the race in the attack. Hope to check the way. Van Aaron is Hermineen. Stopped by Jones. Now here's Reeves. Looking for an arm man, man rush. Van Aaron. Back hit shot. Stopped again by the goaltender. Now it goes back to Jarvis. Carolina Hurricanes are back in transition to go back to offense. Avo uh, racing towards the wing. Up to Harvest. Over to Lucas. Oh, bam, down. And a save by goaltender keeps him out. He really does want to give that one a grumpy credit. Here's Reeves. Backhand shot. That went off too soon. Stop by Harvest. And McKegg will hold on for him. Rooney up again. He matches it again to Snyder. Back to Lindgren. Swings the puck. Stopped by the goaltender again. Rudy again. And if once again, he makes it no moment. His time has already been stopped as the offside is whistled. Both teams are set for the face-off here after the offside has been whistled. Rangers back in and in now. And Fox enters in the attack. And not this time, Trocek got the puck as the man was down. Fox was already hurt. He has to be like very on moment to predict himself that he wants to try to stop one. It's very hard. It's not going to be tough enough to get right into work. Lafreniere takes the puck control. Now he swings it back over again. He swings it up on the board. Off to a best man and he scores! One time goal. It's now tied again before the last minute comes down to the wire. He works with the feed here. Lafreniere was picking up to Zabanajad 
All that time happens. The fan teams are frustrated right now. It looks like they wanted to do things again to try to battle along. And believe that Tabata Jack was the only time to succeed this run. Most of his players got a working lots of uh, hitting rule in the effective run. But for Sabanichad, he really had a hard time for it. He never got a magnetic uh, stick on it, magnetic on a stick to try to hit someone with a blade. He really didn't caught on really well, but he only did was trying to make a tape to tape feed. I'll see what if Sabanichad, if he has a magnetic with the blade here to pick up with the puck. Guys, back to you. Shot deflected off here on Anderson. Misfires, and this one regroups here for Rangers to pick up back an offense. Firing deep. And that will end the first period. It's now an even game. Rangers and Hurricanes are fighting for the depths of danger. We'll be right back with the second period. Teams are set and ready to face things off here as they're about to set the second period. Glad you can join us here, guys. We're off to a set of second period as we are now underway back at the PNC Arena to start things off in the conference semifinals to finish this game. Fox, backhand shot was lifted wide and it's not ready to try to like keep the enforcement to go back into the game. He wasn't really, really sure he was going to try to help him out. He really didn't have it all, trying to like book it out and try to succeed the run. Kreider coming into the attack, up to Savannah Stop by Anderson, what a stop made! Lafayette picks it up and out of the box, swings it, and stopped by Anderson. He really wants to try to do things again and try to go back into it, but Anderson was going for not quitting, not giving up. Terravine up here with the attack, passing the neutral zone. Now he swings over to Snetchikov, up with the shot, and Sisterkin with the save. New York back in the offensive zone. She flanks the puck to Panarin, and D'Angelo takes that puck away. Up to the board is Taravainen. Lafreniere has the puck. Scoops all on the board by Trubo, up to Miller. Miller around him. And along, scores! Miller gets a goal, and the team breaks the chain. What a move feed here for DeAndre Miller. He's really succeeding this time. The game continues as we have a slight major technical difficulty with the counter battery. Uh, as I said before, they for Keandre Miller has the, the leading score change, one for goal for, this, for last game and one goal for this game. Here's the Angelo now, he swings off to Nekas. The Canes back in offensive zone, shoots one, that deflects it off by the defender. Drocek with it now, and it's off again on the goaltender. Hook with the puck. The Rangers are picking up the steam. Tying over to Miller. And he just reflects it off to for Anderson to take the puck away. Hunt reaching. Rebound Stroll scores. It looks like Ryan Stroll was ready for the rebound. When he got it in there, he reached up with the backhand. He really wants to like step it out and then take the ball in his hand. He is delivering him what he has done here before. Ryan Strome giving the points for an extra feed for the New York Rangers 4-2. It could be the next one for 6-2. Just like happened for the real game, they got many goals here to face. It's tough one to be out last if you don't want to mess around with. They do always, they do. Snyder, Andre Drenner. And it's broken up again, and here is another attack. Lindgren, two on one. Hedo can't make that shot in play as it went off target again. Hedo back to Jones. And the fight is initiated. And they are trying to get away with it. It looks like Jones was gotten banged up and had a bad, a bad look. Jones was not really heavy enough to try to like keep things on the road. He's really got tough and not a great succeed here to try to work him up. Did that fight initiate it? 
but it looks like the man has nothing to do about it. Rangers scoops it back here to clear the path or the Ranger zone. Now they're back into the Carolina zone. Back with the pass, back to Goff here. Swings back to Hunt. He checked it off by Taravainen. He swings inside his own, and it's a takeaway by Goff here. From the Lindgren, sorry about that one. Here's Reeves, shoots one, and takes it back in. Hano scores! They got a good rebound, he rejected in there, and Hito with that one made a great stop. He had that score, he made a driving input, and that's by his first goal here for the post game to try to pick things up here with on the run. The Rangers extends their lead 5-2, as Hurricanes are having a big trouble here to play here since the regular season had no problem beating up against the uh, Anaheim Ducks. They pass it up to McKay. He swings over to Reeves. Reeves fakes up to Druba. Back to Miller. Miller reaches up. Rooney helps him out. The man is blocked down. Knocked down. Moves over to Reeves and it's broken up. Shetsakov right over back to the neutral zone. He fires the puck around to the offensive board. Miller grabbing over again. He swings over to McKay. Rangers picking up the steam back in the offensive zone. Reeves up. Holds the puck in control. Back and bound is Miller. Turbine and takes a steal. The Hurricanes are back into working the offensive transition and Kreider takes a steal. There are many steals out there. They got a broken reflected out there. It's not really helping enough to try to keep the momentum out there. They need something to go there quick. Lafreniere moving in the middle. He takes a feed and a stop goes up by Anderson. And Lundgren up, passes to Fox. Stick lifted by Nekas. In the attacking zone, Nekas. Choose one, left save by Shesterkin. And the teams will get a hold their breath and we will have the faceoff coming up. The two teams that the uh, goalies have been playing so hard in between Shesterkin and Anderson. But Anderson had a little tough inbounding to try to break the chop off. And it didn't really help him at all quite some time. They need someone to try to get back in the offensive zone. If they don't have enough, uh, don't have, uh, have enough uh, power to regain the group, that means they could get losing risky, risky shots of this one. And that could be all over for them to try to hit them at the deck. Here at that one, Adam Fox, the take the tape zone ability, has it all encountered out here for one of his best tricks. He can find the open players to try to make the advantage out there and try to help the team go for a long or a short pass and get right into, into his zone to go right into the offense. We'll see what Adam Fox has and see how well he can try to take his run for it. Guys, guys, back to you. Anderson holds up to the puck, and we have a clear whistle down as we have only under nine minutes passing the mid period. Now the puck is cleared up here, Skeggy up to Harvest. Jarvis wasting in no time to find an open look. Skeggy goes back right over to Nekis. In the attacking zone. Neck is up over again, Sergi up, and oh man, he went down too hard. That was the toughest round. The inbound was not that really good. It wasn't that very helpful enough to try to like keep it out. This was a like trespassing zone. Almost went over again. Neck is moving into the offensive attack and little. Rengren tries to take the puck away. Now Hunt on the attack. Slides around. Wish the shot, Ammer and one, bad stop by Anderson. Carolina back in the offensive zone. That's the Sensikov, and it's off the goaltender once again. Now Gauthier swings over to Fox. Fox in motion. He swings it up, shoots one, that deflects off the pad. 
Now it's Miller outside. He swings off the drop here, up to the box, back to Miller. Hey, taking the puck away, and turn line and sends it back. Sets his own, stopped by Shesterkin. And Hedo with the puck to try to regroup their position. Battling all on the boards, Kreider and Slavin up again here, and it's stopped by the goaltender. Slavin tries again, club save. And they will hold the whistle here to catch their breath. Teams are ready right now in the offensive on the face-off attack. Rangers have 5-2 over the Hurricanes. Zibanejad wins its face-off. Setsukov takes the puck away. Moves around in front. That's off on Sesterkin. New York back to work. Kreider scooping all on the boards. He brings over to Truba. Off to Miller. Miller shoots up and it's stopped by Anderson with a pad save. Pad saves are very great, but sometimes it was a very tough one to try to keep your, your man balance alive to do things again. It's very the tough one to be clear on their own attack. Zibanejad takes the puck away. Kreider reaching over and it's stalled with the steal. A going bad and bangle out. Kreider outside. Gets whipped down, and Zibanejad holds it on. He plays the board off the good row, and Anderson will hold the puck here. They will no longer find a man to try to pick it back, and this one will be stopped to play. Most teams are in the pursuit. New York is already in the lead by three, and Fox shoots one. That shot's Red's target, and Travi traffic. Schroem, and Anderson with the save. And Aaron will have to try to regroup the man back into the offensive zone. Both teams are set. They're ready for face-off and get back into the action. New York tries their own time. And Aaron try to go right back to Fox. And that sits out of reach. Good row back in the other way. But a little bang of a bumper car. Now back to Good row. And a double man has been broken up. Neca swings it off in, into the pass in the neutral zone. Fox takes it away. Off to Hunt. Hunt wakes it around. Swings it over to Lindgren. Moves it quickly over to Snyder. Snyder gained a little, a little physical contact. And he went bang down hard. Two players really got it all down there. Whipped off again. And they put a battle on the board. Rough inbound. Shesterkin saves it again. And we're approaching down to Hunt. Rangers are picking up the momentum. He rakes it off to Snyder. Off to the golf air, Back to Hunt. And he draws the penalty. This one comes up for Carolina. As we have the empty meta advantage. And last minute to play here in the second period. They might go for it, they might not go for it. Well, it's their call, not the position to take that one. Snyder shoots. That's stopped again by the, uh, by the player to hit with the puck with the relief and throw. Snyder holds it up and through. Go up there, takes the puck back into the other player. And the penalty is on Carolina. This one calls here for the slashing on Nekas. Neck has not seemed so happy enough here. He was really called with the hook. And for Panarin, here we have Paintbrush. Aratemi Panarin is making good with the making snappy shots ability. The moment he realizes, he has it all down. He wants to make it easier to try to help the team to get right in through. We'll see what Panarin can do and if he makes the power play or not. So far, it's tough when to go right in between the zone attackers. Uh, guys, back to you. And that sets it up to the end of the second period. While the power play still resumes, we have the wits, we have the break here to bring you back to the third period when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Last period begins after the message. Teams are ready. While the power play still resumes for New York Rangers, it's 5-2. And, 
And they're up again. Restart now. Here's Seji. That will reach us up here. And now this will be a clear buck to stroll. Gains the zone through the wing. He frees it off the Fox. Bad pass connection here, and this one reaches out of control. Now the circuit will help him out to Fox. Sarah in holding the puck in through. Stroll with the recover release and Kreider back to Savannah Jad. Swings it over to Fox. 46 seconds to go. It's stopped again by Anderson. Great feed in particular here. They really got it all down. Savannah back to Kreider. Under 30 seconds, it'll be a New York power play. And they went up, and it didn't want to do this again. Wow, that was very tough one. I thought he would have had it right in time. Last to go. It's almost about to expire. Kreider up, shot blocked. Stop by Panera, and it's bad advantage of the power play is over for New York. They're back to even strength. Kreider in the corner, scooping along the board. Now Strome puts it in. Kreider back to Savanajad. Stick lifted as Nekas has faked it back in. And it's blocked it up in truck. Wow, big hit. He's knocking things all over again. Making big plays like a clash. This almost seemed to be like a car accident. This was all that happened to be like this one before there, me folk. Kreider bringing over the power back around to Stroh. Now it goes right to Savannah Jack. Stick over the uh, with the, to the stick lift. And Aaron reaches over to the board. Pulls it around in front. Shoots one. Blocked up in front. Lindgren back to Fox. Makes a stick lift here and Jarvis puts it back the other way. The Hurricanes back into work offense. Now it's advantage Jad has to help Hunt out. Making new changes here is Lindgren. Hunt support up to Hedo. We have a one goal here in the game. It's already now 5-2 as Hedo has a first game in game seven. Here's Carolina attack. Shoots wide. Adds off the goaltender up to circuit. Save being big here. He really likes to have it all and take it back where he wanted to play before. Go up here into the offensive zone. Up to Fox. Slings back to Lindgren. Carries offside here, almost being called out. Now Lindgren is back inside the offensive zone. Goffier moving over to Fox. And a bad fires with a missed pass opportunity for New York. Now they have to redo it again. Goffier right into the board. And it's a bad, almost broken up. Up to Hunt. That's out of reach. Lindgren tries again. He shoots wide, stopped again on the player to try to go back the way they came from. Not just really good out there. He really wanted to like try to stop the run and pressure things back the way they had it. Rudy back over to Hunt. Slavin takes the puck with the with the puck breakaway. Fast out of the bend has been pushed out of the way. Rudy back in the offensive zone. New York Rangers up in the lead by three. Stopped in by a high of oh 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 oh. Shuts the cob in there and reaches the loose circuit saves it. And it comes to hold the puck here for the whistle. Both teams are set. They're out there ready to take the face off with the puck. New York clears the face-off wing, and it's back to begin here to do things once more. Zibanejad racing towards the offensive zone, back to Kreider, back to Zibanejad, and won't be picked up here for the one-time goal. It's too close right now because uh, because of Zibanejad would have uh, picked up a little bit, and on the board wasn't really that good. The only time he needs to see things more carefully is get right into this one. It's tough now when you think. But not to worry, they have it all in front. They need still have plenty of time to get right into it. Hopefully they do. Slavin dishes off to Terravinen. Lafaniere takes the puck away. Fires across from the Carolina zone. 
choir went big fast. The Hurricanes are back in offensive zone. Out to Ajo. Back to Pess. Up to Teravainen. Went around him, shoots one, and it's stopped again by Shesterkin. Zibanejad up his way on his attack. 2-0-1 break. And a no chance luck here for the breakaway with the 2 on one feed. Truba. This is off to Goodrow. New York back in offensive zone. Zibanejad up. Scores! That kicks it up two goals in the game. Just look at this. Goodrow was passing up to Zibanejad. He was clear though. He was giving him his most attention of this gaming. How well he has played. And I don't know what to tell you this one. He was big out with the bang. The Rangers extend their lead up here, up by four, and what a tremendous run. They picked up here with a one goal extra in for the third period. This could be sticking here for the third game, to, for the seventh game. And Anderson will have to hold the puck here with the with the faceoff coming up. We pass the mid period as this now turns to be a 6-2 lead. Carolina wins the face-off. They're now back to the back to transition. Nekas moves it in front. Now to Harjarvis. Off to Trocek. Shoots one and stopped off by Shisterkin. Shisterkin on the roll right now. Looking doing his best. Finaren slows it down and Slingrin up to do things again. Back to Fox. Trying to take the puck away, and it's Fox lifted out of the board. Lindgren fires the puck in deep. Good row, and Skeggy takes the puck away. Eight minutes to play in the third quarter. Still now, the no score for Carolina in the third period. As it went on shot, nothing. Strom back the other way. Strom reaches up to Fox. Avo breaks away. Carolina back into the attack. Around behind the goalie net, and he didn't get enough right at the moment. It's stopped by the goaltender, sets a cop up. Love saved by the circuit and Lindgren. Pick it back the other way. He does that one again. He wants to catch it like it's a baseball glove. Now he got a good, good work here to try to pick it up again. Rudy back to Lindgren. Moves it quickly over to Reeves. And he went broken bad down badly right near the blue line. And no offsides being whistled. Lindgren up. High man rush. Sticked up again by Lindgren. And oh man, this was a heavy match up here. It looks like that the teams are ready to be back here in the conference finals. We can't backhand. No good on the luck. Avo reaching up here in the offensive wing. That shot gets tipped. Now it's Ajo. He swings it back into the zone. Shoots one around the net. And he didn't put it back in there for the rebound. That's tough shot. Not really succeeding well. He really didn't see that one coming. He got to think something ahead quickly. Edo racing towards the other end, and the Dreader comes in to try to hobble down the bend. Biting in front and behind with under five minutes to play. Now Trubo swings it off to Hedo. Hedo racing towards the attack. Now it swings to Trubo, and a team will have to try to like hold up the moment and go back in the offensive zone. Now Dreader brings it back to Miller. Miller shot backhand. That's Anderson stopped again. D'Angelo swings it up. Ah, oh, misfires it with the pass for Carolina. And it's Hill with the puck in control. Took a big hit here. It went very bad bruising. Bruce Engel really got some, a lot of nerds here. He wants to stop this run and give it up with a better look at moment. Truba up again. Miller, bad pass here. 
Here comes the pat, and it's stuffed again by Sisterkin. Lafayette takes it all in the risk. Kreider will have to try to work it away around. Lafayette pieces up to Zabanaja. He slings it over to Miller. And here comes Jarvis. Ah, man, rush. And it's stopped by Shesterkin. How did he save it at that point? Wow. He was really going to try to save it all. The postseason was never going to be able to be the same thing. But it was going to be different here to try to hold their run. New York back in the other way as we approach the last bit of mark here in the third period. Yep, the closing of the semifinals is coming down the wire. Trojak shot list in nine. He goes right to Lafayette. New York's picking back in momentum. Van Aaron back the other way. Hope check the book for two pets. Now it's Nekutz. 40 seconds to play in the third period of the second round in a conference semifinals. This one might have to be all alone right now because the team, I think we could be going for goodbye here in the first seed ever. Stroll right back to over the good row. And Lindgren faces offside as Fox as starting to stop the puck here with the time to regroup. And with the teams, here we have Paintbrush. Artemi Panera was the liver up with the snapshot zone ability. He's gotten great results here and made that one a better play drive through. Sebastian Ajo has a front eye ability and put it back where he wants to go. For this one, he's keeping an eyes on that one. And their team is deleting it back in there. We got a great postseason here. This could be the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. And there's your final horn. That ends the semifinals of the Eastern Conference. The Rangers upsets the Carolina Hurricanes as they have beaten their score just like for a wheel game. I bet they would. They got a great hire with the ability. What a show for the Rangers. They're going to play against the Panthers next. And not to be with only the better team of, of the of this game, the best team of the Rangers in the postseason. Well, this has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference semifinals. The next one will be the finals, as we have Rangers and Panthers. And then it will be the Carol, Carol Colorado Avs and the Flames. Now the postgame show is you, Santa Beast. Take it away. Good night here in Carolina. Thank you very much. Seth Harvest for the third star of the game. One and one, all three at once. One goal, assist, and a hit. Then a second star goes to Mika Sabanajag. Only two goals here. Brings up with a heavy matchup in between. Great pass on ability, and he had it all down here what he had before. And number one, the better star happened to be Keandre Miller. One goal, two assists, and two hits. Great job for Keandre Miller here, just like the last game, and he did a well done, fantastic moment here like he did before. Well, that's going to end for the game here as Carolina Hurricanes are eliminated. The, the top first C team is knocked down and will be returning next season here for NHL 23. With that one being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching the conference semifinals of the Stanley Cup playoffs in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Right now, we will be back here for the conference finals for the Stanley Cup playoffs for the Rangers and Panthers and Flames vs. Avalanche. For that team, and for being said, I'm Son of Peace, and this has been a presentation of the conference semifinals of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks for watching. Until next time, for a while, as the NHL 22 of the Stanley Cup playoff dial. Thank you, and good night in Carolina. See you all next time. If you don't, somebody